Hello, what's going on? Today it's Monkey Guard, and today I'll be talking about the Jack of Trades aura. You can get this aura for 12k at the Loyalty Rewards Trader. Um, it is a tier 2 aura, meaning it does have some differences between the tier 1 and tier 3, and soon to be tier 4, which is out, but no one can get it, I believe, yet. But let's activate it. And the effect of this, you have to train 10 skills in 3 hours, which honestly isn't that hard. This is really, really useful and a very efficient way for a skiller to train Slayer. Um, this does give more points than Penguins, and I will give um, this actual points per level you would get if you were to use this every day all the way to 99, as in the experience for level 1, the experience for level 2, and stuff like that. I will put... Um, most of the levels in the description that are I would call milestone levels but as we are I'm going to do what I think to be the most efficient well I don't know if it is but it is it's the one I've came up with that is the most effective way to use you will need a gold bar or any anything that can smith into a bar um, uh, any type of herb it can be a guam or anything an opal this is really cheap so that's why I get it you're gonna need any type of hatchet, a feather, and a wicked hood with the nature ability unlocked, or any ability in this sense, because it does not require a level. But here we go. The first thing we want to do is pickpocket a man or a guard. It's up to you. Okay, that's one down. Now we need to make a gold bar over here in the furnace over here. Requires the Vrock Achievement Diaries to be completed, which is not, again, not, not hard. You need to clean your herb. You need to chisel this gem. Even if you bust it, you gain experience. And then you need to come over here and woodcut two. No, nope, we will save that till later. We need to run down to the lower part of Edgeville by the Stronghold of Security. And we need to finish the rest up here. Alright, you need to chop down two trees here, and he's fine. <laughs> they can be cut anywhere, but this is where I just like to cut them. You need to catch one fish down here. And then you need to light the log, cook the fish in it. Fletch the next one. And now, for the last step, you need to activate your Wicked Hood. I go to the Nature Altar. Use the Wicked Hood on the Nature Altar thing, because I don't think it will oh, let you in. Oh, well, might just have it with you. And then you make your... There obviously is a lower level and a higher level runes you can make. Just, I like coming here and it's easy to get back. Alright, the second teleport we need to do is wherever you need to go. I just teleport back to the air altar because it's right by Vrock. And if you're questioning yourself if things are done, you can do an aura time remaining and you have gotten. XP in 10 of the necessary skills. There's my run. It takes a little over a minute. It's very nice to do. And yeah. I uh, hope this helped you. It This is worth it by any reason. Even if you're up here or anything of the sorts, you can. Um, it will help you load. It's better than Penguin Points and it helps you just every single day. It has a recharge time of 24 hours, but 
once a day is enough because it does give you a boost of experience. Now we'll go over here to the rewards trader. You can either choose to keep it on for three hours, which is really cool sometimes, especially that it's different. It has a little V right there. If you can't see it, it's right here. And if you want to claim your reward, you can just remove it and it says you manage to gain 10 skills within three hours and then you talk to Juan. And he'll reward you with an experience book and you can use it in an anything of your choice. Let's say I want to do Slayer. Gives you a really good addition to your Slayer. But yeah, I hope this helped you. This is definitely worth it to Slayers. It I use it every day and I am 61 almost 62 Slayer. But yeah, I hope this guys hope this helps. See ya.